Today we're going to be taking a look at the best trailer hitch options for your 2018 Volvo XC90. Here on top we have the draw tight, part number 76194. Here on the bottom we're going to have the Kurt, part number C13233. As far as ease of insulation, I'm going to have to go with the draw tight. As far as appearance goes, I'm also going to have to go with the draw tight on that. As far as versatility, again, I'm going to have to go with the draw tight. Out of these two hitches, my choice would be the draw tight. Here's why. Draw tight is going to be a lot easier to install. You're going to have a lot less hardware you're going to have to worry about. The cross tube is going to be completely hidden behind the fascia, so it's going to be a much cleaner look. The only thing you're going to see is a receiver tube and your safety chain loops. Where your cart, your whole cross tube, and this whole front section here is all going to be below your fascia. With the draw tight, we are going to have to take off the fascia. That being said, it is very simple to take off. This is going to go underneath of your bumper beam. There are three nuts that you have to remove to get this hitch installed. With the cart, you're going to have to take the exhaust tips that are on your bumper fascia. You're going to have to remove those. You're going to have to lower your exhaust. You're going to have to remove your heat shield. And your heat shield is going to have to be trimmed in a couple different ways. One of the advantages that Kurt's going to have over the draw tight, with that cross tube being outside the bumper fascia, if there's any wiring accessories you want to add, trailer wiring accessories, and you want to add a bracket to the hitch, it's going to make it much easier. Because this is inside the fascia or behind the fascia, if you add a bracket to it, you'd have to slice or cut open the fascia, drop that bracket down, and then add another bracket to it. As far as the weight capacities on both these hitches, both of these are going to be the same in that category. Both are going to have a 900 pound max ton weight, and both are going to have a 6,000 pound max trailer weight. Now the max ton weight is the downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. The max trailer weight is the trailer plus the load included. Always check your owner's mail to make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. And you want to go with the lowest number between the two. With that being said, neither one of these hitches are rated for weight distribution. Both these hitches are going to be class three hitches. They're both going to be two inch by two inch. And they're both going to have a standard 5 8 inch hitch pinhole. Now as far as our safety chain loops, you'll notice on our draw tight, our safety chain loops kind of hang down, or their plates hang down on each side of our receiver tube, where on our Kurt, that plate is, goes along the bottom, it's welded to the bottom of the receiver tube and bottom of the cross tube. I tend to like this one a little bit better, and it's a lot more a sleeker look, uh, and the plate is, it seems to be a lot more thicker. The holes are a lot more bigger on the draw tight than they are on the Kurt. Now this is a pretty big hook. This is not normally what you're gonna use for towing a smaller size trailer, but I just wanted to show you in case you do have hooks like this. There's not a whole lot of room in here on the Kurt. Plus it tends to get stuck right there. Where our draw tight, we have plenty of room for our loop or our safety chain hook to move around. Now let's go into the measurements. Now, keep in mind the measurement from the ground to this part, top part of the inside of the receiver tube may change a little bit depending on your tire size. So for our Kurt, you're at 12 and a half inches. For our draw tight, we're at 14 inches. As far as from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper, that number is not gonna change with tire size. That number is gonna be the same. So on our Kurt, it's gonna be five and a half inches. On our draw tight, you're looking at two and a half inches. That number is very important. The reason is, is any of your hitch mount accessories that may fold up against your car, like your bike rack or cargo carriers, when you're not carrying a load on them, you haven't folded, you wanna make sure you have enough room between where your hitch pin hole is so that it doesn't fold up and hit the car or rub against the car while you're traveling. I hope this has helped make your decision a little bit easier on choosing the correct hitch for you.